The Battleship Trails by Pawn Iron Wolf is the next challenge for this week of Shipyard Champions. After the success of Cruiser Olympics, the High Command has decided to open bids to attend nations or to the attendant nations for a battleship. Basically, the exact same challenge as last time, except instead of one light cruiser, we're using one battleship. So uh, they need to be about 40,000 tons or less, top speed of 30 knots, and protection against own guns at 15 kilometers on the mains. Uh, lowest cost will win a tie. Starting range is 20 kilometers, everything else is the same. Awesome. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at the same ship because we are facing the same ship as last time and I did not show this uh, last time. This is the Powder Keg, it's about 15,000 tons and uh, that's about that's about it. Yeah, it's minimal everything. There's no compartments, no protection, just very basic everything, no armor whatsoever. The guns are maxed out but I doubt that's going to save it. It has decent penetration, it doesn't have decent penetration because we are going to have like crazy armor quality. I'm bending we're gonna almost have like 150 armor quality which means that these guns are gonna pen if five inches of armor. Okay. As long as our armor has like a six inches we'll be fine. Good to know. So that is the enemy battleship we'll be facing. 15 of them. Nothing to really worry about. Let's just go ahead and uh, I will change the weather to clear in morning because last time I only had it on stormy night because I didn't want my light cruiser to get hit because there was a chance they could damage it. But now that is absolutely not going to happen. So let's see. We could do obviously super battleship, but then uh, then we have the issue of being super expensive, and we can't get under forty thousand tons. So modernized dreadnought is the only one I can go below that. We might have to do thirty four, so that'll shave I think a full minute, because for every thousand tons, is fifteen seconds off, and we want to get rid of all of the uh, seconds possible. And uh, there was another there was another thing that shaved off 45 seconds. What was it? Let's see. Uh, oh, having these things will shave 45 seconds off. Okay, good to know. Good to know. In that case, let's just make sure we are already at 30 kilometers. Can this thing do 30 kilometers? No, it can't. Huh. Is its maximum is 21? Is that a big difference? Eh, kind of. We might have to do the N3 class then. This used to be the N3G3 class, but they have changed it recently. There we go. That should be... We do have a little bit more displacement to mess around with. Go ahead and... Uh, this is an interesting thing that I was thinking about. First of all, let's find a decent tower. Actually, no, I'll go straight to main guns. So, the 9-inch gun... Let's just say double. Or the dual 9-inch gun. Is... Uh, what stats does it have? It pens... 35, because the enemy has like 35% armor quality. So 35% armor quality, this thing can pen, well I mean we'll be getting pretty close, so this thing will be able to pen it. Plus if we give this triple base TNT4, we should be able to pen the enemy battleship, let's just say super heavy shells. Yeah, we should be able to pen the enemy battleship pretty easily, especially capitalistic, I forgot to do that. Now yeah, we definitely can pen, especially in light shells I think. Oh yes. I think even just capped we can pen. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming semi we can't. Semi ballistic, not quite standard. I think is the way to go then. Yes, we can pen them with standard. Awesome. Well, I only have to defend against a nine-inch gun because that's what I'm going to be using. Because why would I use anything bigger? They d they are destroyed by anything uh, this small, anyways. I mean, we won with seven-inch guns. We were penning them. Let's go ahead and grab some bar bits, just the smallest one I can grab. I mean, Mark V's are absolutely insane. Push this all the way forward. Let's also go ahead and put this back to probably like 150, I assume my armor quality is going to be. That's exactly what my armor quality is going to be if I max this out. No, I don't have to. What if I don't? I mean, I do have to protect against myself, but I only have to protect against, uh... See, this would be 120%. I definitely want to have at least a cheap citadel, some anti flood, a bit of bulkheads, a double hull, some anti. Yeah, I really don't need that. I mean, I'm going to have a citadel, but I don't need any of this. Anti flash would be nice. I don't think I'll be torpedoed. So just 130%. Is that what we're looking at? 130. So 130% is uh, at 15 kilometers, 4.3 inches. 
yeah, I think I can defend against that pretty easily. So we're definitely going to max out guns first, because again, they really can't do anything against my my uh, my ships. And bay, can I pen with base views? Just a quick question: Can I pen with like capitalistic base views? Because that would be kind of funny. No, I can't. Well, against the non-armor parts, I can. Incendiary will work well against the non-armor parts. We'll do increased AP, increased H, uh, the standard ratio, I think. We'll do a... I don't really care about any of this, do I? No, I just want to keep this as cheap as possible. So... Okay. This is already looking decent. I mean, we could even go standard bulkheads for all I care. Uh, training, I will max out training though, just because I think it's nice. Uh, we won't be losing that much crew. But I think I just put on the best towers now. Well, honestly, even the cheapest towers would probably work well enough. Do any of you have barbettes? None of you have barbettes, do you? Kind of sad. I might just use this. But there's also the high tower. Let's see. 38 aiming speed, 24 base accuracy compared to 55, 39. Yeah, so way worse. So advanced towers are just better. Good to know. Well, it has a decent turning circle. We don't want the large, so we'll take the advanced secondary tower. Plop that, whoopsie. Plop that right in there. Try and get this nice and condensed. Oops. There it works just fine. Funnels, probably just the two smallest funnels. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, 100% engine efficiency works just fine for me. Thing still turns. We'll definitely have a couple of side guns too. Whoopsie, that's the uh, that's the wrong thing. Side guns, which don't fit. There we go. Now they should fit. I might even put triples on. Triples might be the way to go. And then let's grab some not center line. Nope. Side guns. Side tools. Why max beam? Because I don't think they ever clarified it had to be the max displacement. It was just the actual displacement, which means this would work. Though it doesn't really help me put more guns on, does it? No. Okay. In that case, we're going to delete this. We're going to put on a quad. Okay, doesn't fit. Oh, right, because it's a... Uh, needs to be center line. Center line quad. Reloads. 13 seconds. Oh my goodness gracious. This is going to be absolutely devastating. Put this up here. And then keep that there. There's this little far. Whoopsie. It's got deleted. Okay. Okay. That is. Let's see. That's 16 9 inch guns all firing in about 14 seconds. That's. Pretty impressive, I would say. I don't need all this beam, actually. I'm starting to realize I really don't. Secondaries, we get 5 inch everything, or Mark 5's everything, right? So we did 7's, and that's what absolutely obliterated them, so uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, am I right? Put on a couple of 7's, since we already know they're going to work pretty well. Just throw one there, throw one there, go one there. The circle of these nines isn't the greatest, but I mean, why not drag it forward? Heck, why not have more of these? Just make a huge citadel really quick. Thing still turns. Hit some more of these nine inchers. And that's even a 360 turret right there. Can I drag this any further back? Still have 360? Yes, I can. Means that the citadel can be slightly less big, because it's, uh, Friendly ginormous. And that means I can put even more 7 inchers. Oh, that's glorious. Absolutely glorious. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, this, how far forward can I shove this? Right there. And you'll come over here. Which means you can come over here. No, you won't fit, will you? Oh, game's lagging a bit. Doesn't like what I'm doing here. That definitely will not be 360 turrets. This really is far forward as I can shove this. Hmm. I shove this more forward. Do you still turn? No, absolutely you do not turn. Now you turn. 
I can push you forward. Not that far forward. That far forward. So not a 360 turret. You should have decent turning. I don't know why you're having a heart attack. Uh, but you don't have 360. Which is highly unfortunate. I was hoping you would. Also, what's the accuracy look like? Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw on a coincidence. A radar. I don't really need anything else, do I? Nope. No, I do not. Protection is underrated. Overrated. Whatever. Um, a bit of an half white offset. Oh, this is an issue now. Why is that an issue? Are you still an issue? Nope. No longer an issue. Okay, awesome. I wish this would be 360, but yeah, that's, that's just not going to work, unfortunately. So, in that case, if I delete this and I put a 9 dual, is that a 360? Nope, that's definitely not a 360. Okay, nothing's going to be 360, so let's just keep it a quad. Keep it a stack, call it a day. And then I guess we can throw on some more secondary guns. I guess some just four. Actually, let's throw sixes first. No sixes? Okay, fair enough. Any fives? A couple of fives. Okay, fives will do just fine. Any fours? Spots for fours. One spot for a four. And some threes. Three quads. Three triples. Nope. Two duels. We got a couple spots for those. Which should work pretty well against this uh, little design. Wouldn't be anything tough. And the rest can be triple. Should fit. No, that doesn't fit. Neither does that. Okay, in that case. Delete those, we'll put no 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 put a quad right there and nothing's gonna fit there. Perfection. We have enough guns, we will tear through the enemy battleship. We only now have to protect against uh what was it like uh let's see. 35 no 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 uh 130 and then these things pen 15 kilometers, 4.3 inches of armor. Right. So nothing. We have to protect against nothing. I mean, I could honestly just make this 5, oh, 5 and 5 and then just increase this to 10. But do I really want to? I mean, I think I think the main set of protects it. The main deck, uh, actually, what, what, what does deck pen look like? Do we ever even get to 5 inches? No, we get to 2.7. Okay, so I can make this thing 3. Good to know. Hurts also have to be protected, but again, 553 is not that hard of a protection screen, uh, scheme. Um, we have our top speed, we have a decent range, I probably don't need that much range, but I'll keep it. Do I need to keep it? Not really. Actually, even if I get low speed, I'll still be way faster than them. Because they have 14 knots of speed, and honestly that might be, might be best. I could even just go like minimal bulkheads. I just don't need the bulkheads. I have no need to protect myself, really. I don't even need a citadel, I don't think. Do I even need a citadel? Now I only need to protect against even less armor. Yeah, because now it's just 120%. Now I only need to protect against uh, 15 kilometers, 4.5. Wait, I need to protect against more now? What? Ah, okay, well, I guess it's still the same. Uh, but we can just do this. This isn't that big of a deal. Like, I can't even do this. Can we just do this? I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty obvious. It's, this isn't really going to be that big of a challenge. Just reduce all this armor so that we, we uh, reduce the price a ton. Then that way, because uh, we're still pretty expensive because of the, uh, the crew training. But because I have uh, radar... I might actually be able to reduce this to like, uh, like just regular crew. It's still a lot of money though. If we would reduce this, we'd be under a million. Not that we need to necessarily keep this super cheap because um, I'm hoping a tie is not going to happen because I doubt there'll ever be a tie that's close enough, or it'll ever be close enough for it to be a tie. I still have, no, okay, negative 10%. Let's copy that and paste it on all of our guns. Which should still give us a range, like even our 2 inches should still have a pretty
pretty good range. Like six kilometers, that's still pretty good, I would I would say. And straights down to 1.6 is why there's not much point. I just like doing it. And I can actually bring this in more. I doubt it'll be 360. No, it's not a 360 there, but just a little bit forward. Also, this two-inch gun is now having a heart attack. Is you a 360 here? Yes, you are. It means I can drag these guys back. Put these two-inch guns back on. And this might be able to become a 360 turret when I shove it forward a little bit. Is that going to be an issue? Like that, it's not. At the very least, it has better turning circle. Okay, that's pretty good. We have a pretty decent halfway offset, though. Now, what is that doing to me? In terms of... Where is that? Negative 5% accuracy? That's not that big of a deal, is it? Eh, kind of. Okay, well, what I can do is I can go over here to Induced, and then just remove the back. There we go. Perfectly balanced. Uh, I will have to go to balanced for a little bit more range because range is a bit of an issue now is a bit of an issue we are we're going to remove so much time just from being such a, a light ship maybe i will put a little bit more protection on because i mean if i get if i got shot down it's kind of lame and awkward i'll just i'll put a little bit of armor on just a tiny bit of armor there we go it really didn't add that much weight and I'm not going to increase, increase the uh, the armor because I don't think I need to. I just realized I have maximum barbette armor. Yeah, it really didn't do that much, so I'm going to just get rid of that too. And then this being that much protection is probably fine. Yeah, I'll increase it a little bit. I doubt it'll increase the price by that much. It's 10, 10, 5, then just like a, like a, like a 5, 5, 3, and then everything else can just be pretty much unprotected. Like splinter armor. Should be fine. There we go. This should be more than good enough. These 1.6 inch guns might actually never be used. I might delete them, but there's not too many and they're only like 3 tons, so I, I'm not I'm not gonna. They might become useful at some point. Uh, but there you go. <laughs> That's all I really need to do. That's all I really need to do. No Citadel, no Anti-Flood, no Bulkheads, no Hull Bottom, no Antitorp, no Barped, no Extra Armor. Not even touching it. I mean, I'll just take Balanced really quick. That should reduce it by... Not that much. Okay. Never mind. And we're under a million, but I do want a little bit of training. Where do we get to trains? I want to be at least trained. 34? Yes, it's 34. Okay, 34 will be trains. Uh, 1.129 million is not bad. But it's mostly just the fact that we're way underweight. Extremely underweight. I just realized I can have more 7-inch guns. Which probably would have fixed my uh, offset a little bit. Actually, now we have a forward offset. Uh, not that much. Still a little bit. Let me actually put a couple more 7-inch guns. Can I put this thing right here? I can put another one right here. Can I put another one? Yes, I can. It gives me a big forward offset, but if I take this, I put this over here. Let's try and drag these funnels. So they go more toward the fore of the ship. I have too much engine efficiency. Back to natural, and there we go. Not perfectly balanced like it was before, but that's probably fine. I can actually reduce this and still have decent range. We're just so underweight. It's actually kind of funny. Can I do this? No. Can I do this? No. Okay, we'll just stick with zero zero then. That's okay. Doesn't matter about the max. I think it's just the uh, the taken displacement. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's let's just uh, clean, let's make sure all the settings are correct. 15 battleships, the 1900 powder keg, clear morning, uh, sure designs on. One battleship at 2k uh, kilometers, no, 20 20 kilometers, and uh, 1940. Yes, yeah, should be good. Should be good to go. All right, let's see how absolutely quick we destroy this. It should be literal seconds. Literal seconds. 
Let's go in and let's do this. Where are the ships? Over there. Go get them, champ. Go get them. Our guns don't have the range. Oh, I didn't think about range, actually. That's a good point. Did not think about range. Try and keep the ship relatively steady. Why we don't have any accuracy is interesting. Are they heading away from me? No, they're sailing straight for me. I wonder if the AI is going to think that they have an advantage. Because they do have 15 battleships. I wonder if the AI is going to wonder like, hey, we have 15 battleships. They only have one. Or if they're actually going to take the tech into account. Long HE. No, 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 no. I want full AP. I want one shot to obliterate these guys. That's we have more range with AP anyway, which means more accuracy. There we go. That's flooding. That's going to like destroy that ship instantly. Though, we might just do auto for the secondaries. I'm not sure if they can pen. Can they pen? Hold on, I'm going to pause the game really quick. Let's just go down to 35% accuracy. Or, uh, not accuracy, um... Whatever it's called. Can our 7s pen? Yes, our 7s actually... Wait, uh, at how far of range? Yeah, our 7s can pen. Okay, we're going to go to AP then. Our 7s can penetrate to their ships. We are going to go full AP, I repeat. We will be going full AP. Look at all these ships flash firing over here. Can we get something on this? And it's cool if we don't, but... Oh, it's already dead. Never mind. Maybe turning wasn't the best idea, but that's fine. Hello, gents. How do you like those flash fires, huh? Are they enjoyable to you? Is that it? That was it. So... That was about 9 minutes? Okay, so 9 minutes. We sank 15 battleships. That was absolutely glorious. I just want to quickly go back here and uh, see all these sinking ships. Oh man, this, this was a fun, fun challenge. Alright. Oh, and then my ship. It's so absolutely beautiful. Look at her. So beautiful. I mean, really, if you if you saw a ship like this, w wouldn't you be terrified? Because I certainly would. I certainly would be terrified of a ship like this. I just took a couple of screenshots. I want to see how much damage we we've, we dealt. Ele oh my, oh my God, that was so much damage. Lord Nelson did eleven. 11, 000, no, 1100k damage. How much damage even is that? That's over a million. That's a million damage. Oh my, the game doesn't even realize. It's, a, it's over a million damage in under nine minutes. Um, That is awesome. Okay, I do quickly want to do some calculations because it was roughly about nine minutes. But for every thousand tons under 40,000, it's a minus 15 seconds. So every 4,000 tons under 4, or 40,000 is a minus a minute. We might actually go negative here. Also the fact that it's minus 45 seconds due to the fact that we are at a top speed of 30 knots and we have protection against our own guns, or our main guns at least. Which isn't that much, honestly. Right, don't we? At 15,000? Yeah, 6.7. We definitely have protection because it's just on the uh, main belt and main deck. That's the only thing that really matters. And at 15,000, yes, we... Oh, wait, do we? 15,000. Oh, we don't. I forgot main deck. Oh, no. Okay, well, luckily it wasn't one attempt, so I can just do that really quick, and then that, if we, we, we fix the issue. I'll have to do that again. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Uh, okay, well, I mean, it shouldn't take that long. Yeah, I guess I must have messed with the penetration at some point, but 15,000... Yeah, 15,000 meters is 3.7, so I, we do have to protect against our main guns. Wait, no, I'm wrong. No, we're good, actually, because I... 120% armor quality, not 35. I should have more than enough at 120. Uh, yeah, no, we're good, never mind. Alright, well, in that case, let's get to calculating. So we were... Uh, so we're at about 27,000, I'll round up, so that's... Oh boy, hold on, I'll be back and do some math really quick. Okay, so we're about 13,000 tons under, at least according to this calculator, which hopefully is correct. 
which means that is if we if we're doing four thousand tons equals minus one minute that is then three minutes off plus an additional 15 seconds but then we met the 45 second thing so i'll go to discord really quick we also met uh this thing so we got an additional 45 seconds so that's actually exactly four minutes that we take off so it's about roughly five minutes we took to uh do that uh accounting for all this and then we were at a low low price of only 1.27 uh million yeah 1.12 million not not horrible i mean it's probably not gonna beat anybody in time I'm sure somebody's gonna have a super cheap price but that is fine so Thanks everyone so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of next week of Ship Your Champions. Don't forget to go watch everyone's videos. I'm sure they were equally entertaining. Alright, peace.